But again, I, it's trying to get people outside the normal concept of straight portraiture. Documentary portraiture is a whole different thing. It's way more fun and there's a lot more layers. You never want to run your business in a reactionary mode. That is disaster. No matter what business you are running, that is disastrous. We could be sitting here talking about cupcakes. It just doesn't matter. You've got to plan beyond the 30 days. And find that minimum focus distance and create an image using that minimal focus distance and we'll get something that's very unique. Okay, so, so there's our minimum distance. How about you're looking out the window again? Well, there's no such thing as a perfect wedding. There are all of these elements that are thrown at you throughout the day, different things keep happening, things that are out of your control, things that are in your control but might uh, not exactly happen the way you and your clients had planned it to, and you have to adapt to every single one of those situations and be able to stay fresh, be able to handle the lighting and the gear challenges, and continue to make beautiful images for these people. Two years to build a perfect portfolio, yeah? If you stick to the program, 12 pictures, four months, you do that three times, that's 36 pictures. The first 12, maybe they're crap, but the last 24 should be amazing. Follow that list. Two years, you get to here. As this work matures, so does your marketing. Seven times in two years, you know what's going to happen? You have proliferated the market then. They start knowing who you are, and at the same time, you've gotten an amazing portfolio, and you have matured your pictures and your marketing at the same time. Once you begin to get an idea of what it is that, that will, why someone might hire you, what they look for, it doesn't work to just be like, well, I refuse to do that, but I'm still getting you to hire me. It's not going to happen. You have to figure out, okay, how do I become marketable to these people that I want to work with? Now she might pay me $600 or she might pay me 6000 It doesn't matter. What matters is that I've given her the experience that I love to give.